Welcome back everybody, King Rara right here, and I'm your host for this evening. So today we are going to be doing a little something that I couldn't do last episode. Mainly because I did not, oh, my sword. <laughs> Mainly because I did not have uh, the resources to do it at the time. So let's just put our important things down. I went around flying to get gas tears and while I was there I found some angels killed them for their tears also found a nether fortress and it had blaze rods and diamonds I could get there's the nether bricks that I mined out so got a few more standard binding agents so this is some very good things that I just got but what's more important is we are ready to make let's see here alchemical chest the energy condenser so we need four diamonds one two three four let's throw the rest in there and then we need one alchemical chest we've got a bunch of junk we need to throw i found some um unholy ghasts boy they are tough to kill and they're tough buggers at the same time all right so we did that let's just have one standard binding on us we're going to have also hmm, an average power with a mundane lengthening. Hopefully that's enough tears. All right. Now we need obsidian, which is over. Here. All right, we put the obsidian like so, put that there, and then four diamonds. Um, if I get the recipe correct, there we go. Now we've got the energy condenser. I am condensing the world now. Ooh, mind you, this is a very, very, very OP item once you get into the um flower power side of things for it and honestly i don't like it, how overpowered it can get so i'm not going to make the flower power i got this that way i could get rid of junk and maybe duplicate um items but i'm not going to make the flower power i'm sorry um okay so a good emc value would be gunpowder um, what else would have a MC value that's 760, 100, oh, we don't really need that now, do we? Throw all of that, I want to keep the gas tiers, that, these, um, all right, I think that's all. Now, I want to duplicate diamonds. I am low on diamonds. So to duplicate an item, basically you take one item, put it on top there. It will have a EMC value. This one, in this case, has 8,192. So to get that value, you see it eats up whatever is not in there that belongs to um, that value. And now we got three more diamonds from throwing away junk we don't need. Yay! King Ray Ray is awesome, isn't he? <laughs> Alright, so let me get myself in a proper position. My back's no longer hurting as it was. Um, now we want to take a look at these gas tiers. 
the first and foremost thing that I want to make is the Empress Chalice. You're probably asking, why do you need that? Well, because what if I want infinite water source with me? Well, step no further. We have the Emperor's Chalice. I'm gonna need two emeralds. And then, gas tier. Let's make sure I've got everything. All right, two there, one there, one there. Three of those plus two emeralds. Let's make sure I still have three of those. Now I have the Emperor's Chalice. Let's go fill it up with water, and we have an infinite water source with us at all time. Now that is important and very, very, very useful because we don't need buckets no more, honestly. Now the next thing I want is the Salamander's Eye. To make that, we need two gas tears, four blaze rods, and two magma cream. Now, the magma cream, we kind of ran out of, um, okay, we got three blaze rod there. We got one over here somewhere, okay, which means the only thing we are out of are slime balls. So, easy way to get the slime ball. Let's gather these potions. I don't know which is which. This one's flying. Let's take this. And go fly over to the slime island. Which is so happens to be right next door to us. So it shouldn't be too hard for us to get more slime which is right here let's just grab two and head back home so take the congenial slime and voila we got eight slime balls which is a great amount for what we need oh, oh, I don't even know if I take fall damage that's the thing while the flight potion is on, so that'd be kind of a bugger if I did die. Okay, so I think I just need two of these. Let's double check. Yeah, I just needed two of those. So, got plenty of those. What else do I need? Oh, an Eye of Ender. So, I happen to have some ender pearls somewhere. Ender pearl. Somewhere I have an ender pearl. <clears throat> right there. All right, so we take the ender pearl, put the blaze powder on top to make the eye of ender. Go over to the crafting station, put that in the center. On the corners, we put the four blaze rods. Just above the eye and just below the eye, magma cream. And two gas tears. So now we have the wonderful salamander's eye. So, we are technically now immune to fire. Well, either way, we're both ways immune to fire. <clears throat> so, the next thing I wanted to make would be the Void Tier. Okay, so we're going to need two more Ender Eyes. Which is quite easy to do. Once again, go over to crafting table, and then two gas tiers to make an empty void tier. Nice, nice. Um, <laughs> that's the only stack there is. 
Okay, empty em, an empty void tier. Right click to absorb the dominant inventory. Currently holds nothing. Currently holds 11 gas tiers. Right click to toggle auto absorb. I don't want to auto absorb them. Okay. I think that may be all for that part. Um, we'll need the inscription air, so let's put one off to the side. And I don't see the use of those two. Well, we got what we wanted on that part. I guess we got extra gas tears. <laughs> Which is fine. Which is fine. We can now go over to the alchemical set. And make ourselves the regeneration potion. Now to make a regeneration potion. We are going to need a flask. Another flask. So you're probably thinking... Another flask? That means more blood! Eww. Yes, that means more blood. That should be enough. Put that in there. Let's drink this here. Um, and go up and around town. Got two of those, throw that over there. I guess we're not going to need the extra seven gassed tiers. So let's go to this over here and throw them in for three extra diamonds. Seven gas tiers equals three diamonds. Remember that. That there will be a test after the episode. <laughs> Alright, we got the flask. We go up. And around town, we put the empty flask with a binding agent and a gas tier, which will then, in a second, make a regeneration one for 22 seconds. Now we want to take that. I think we want the power catalyst to be a greater if we have one. We have one. Okay, so we're using our last power, uh, greater power catalyst that we found on this, which is fine. This will make a regeneration four or five, I believe. Regeneration four for t two seconds. Um, honestly, we want to increase it one last time. And we're increasing it by a mundane lengthening catalyst. That's only a few seconds more, maybe a minute. Yeah, just a few seconds more. But that's fine, because this thing eats away at your um, hunger like crazy. It's not even funny how bad it eats away at your hunger. So now I can easily go bop, 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 and then go to it. Drink it. Come on, drink it. And it will heal me up. Like that. And it doesn't take all my hunger away. I can then take my flask here. Drink it up. And there we go. We've got wonderful, wonderful regenerations. Four for seven seconds. Alright, so what I'm going to say is this is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a big fat like. And if you haven't subscribed, come on and come subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now and enjoy. I'll catch you next episode.